Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. How I'm going to try to help you tonight is to let you know what you get in the box for this. This is a copy of Card Kingdoms of Valeria, one of the new small box Valeria games from Daily Magic Games, each from a different designer. This one is from Levi Moat who has designed other games we have greatly enjoyed in the past, and I've always been a fan of Valeria games, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out. Now, this is a Roll and Write game where it's using some of the familiar Valeria mechanics, like rolling for resources as long as well as, you know, filling out your pad. Um, I haven't played this game. I don't know much about it other than it's a Roll and Write and some of the basic mechanics, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you get. Now, I will note this is for, excuse me, one to four players. This is for one to four players. Ages 14 plus, I doubt that's a, a hard and fast rule. And it says game time is 30 to 45 minutes, so a little longer than some roll and writes, but not a big epic game. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in this box, so let's get to it. All right, shrink wrap off. I gotta say, I immediately like that, like, dude's rolling a bunch of crystals, like he's throwing them and it's the dice. I, I love that cover. Artwork by, of course, the Miko. Does awesome work and does a lot of work with Daily Magic Games. We've got the rule book with the story of the game, the background, already looking interesting here. Um, we have the game set up, the player sheets. I, I appreciate how big the font is on this. This looks nice and easy to read. We've got the game flow, the player sheets. So it looks like there's going to be two different player sheets. Interesting. How the game plays. Uh, what yellow dice are for, red, red dice are for. Okay, so we have multiple different types of dice. Green dice are building. Blue dice, you've got knights. Wow, it looks interesting. There's a lot going on here. This does not look like a quick simple. Um, there are statue cards. Okay. Domain power. So it looks like there's some exploration in this game, as well as scoring, and then solo rules. So it's interesting to note the solo rules are a variant. So it's not set up as a default solo game, which many roll and rights are. Uh, then we have a quick play reference on the back. We are looking at uh, scoring goes to page 10, 11 with the solo rules. So not an overly complicated game. Then we have pads. Wow, these are colorful. That is one colorful pad. And there's a lot. Oh, it's not two-sided. I don't personally understand. Maybe it's a printing cost thing. But please, if you're doing a roll and write, give me two-sided sheets. Like, I get double the replayability with that. Anyway, single-sided pad. Slight disappointment there. Slight disappointment. Not enough to ruin the game. All right, we're going to put this aside because I think, yes, these actually match up to make one bigger board, which is kind of cool. So you can obviously see your usual rolling right. There's spots to fill in. You can kind of tell. Let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit this way. Um, you're going to fill in spots. It's going to unlock stuff. There's different colors. That shows like a little dude there. These are your resource generation numbers. So if you roll a five and a six, you're going to get um, building and you're going to match the things to fill in things here. I, I'm not here to teach you how to play this game. So I'm not even going to try. Um, I haven't even read the rules. So I can't explain it all that well, except for a watch a play video I did watch. You're going to be battling enemies down at the bottom. You can kind of see the orc head here. And you're going to be exploring the land. And the further you, you, you go, you're going to unlock stuff. But it's all done using rolling dice. So we're going to move over to the dice next. And what you have are four six-sided dice with pips on them. And having looked at other games from this series, I have a feeling they may not be standard pips. No, in this case, they're standard pips. Okay. I had to check. Every now and then, Daily Magic likes to add neat symbols there that are hard to see. So you have dice in three different colors. I'm a little worried about a red and a green in the same game. Sometimes that's a problem for color blindness. I don't personally have that problem. So unfortunately, I can't answer to if that's a problem or not with these particular dice. So you have blue, yellow, red, and green. I'm going to roll them together. Now, one of the things you will find in every Daily Magic game is that blue is mana. In this game, blue can be used on its own, or it can be combined with any other die. So that's the way you can get higher than a 6 on a red result, is you can combine it with mana to actually get an 8 in this case. So standard dice. And I also thought this was a nice touch. Anyone who has played Valeria Card Kingdoms is going to recognize these. They're D6 dice again, but they're number 1 to 6, and they're kind of marbled. And guess what they're for? You're going to roll them. This generates your resources. So just like Valeria, we're going to jump back to this. 
I rolled a three and a five, so I can activate my three, my five, as well as my eight and see what I get. Personally, I love that because I love Valeria, so I like that tie back to the core game. What else do we have in here? We have a meeple. One meeple, again, one meeple with a, a silica pack in it. Just seems silly to me, but sure. This is a statue, and it is the first player token. That is the only purpose for this meeple. I'm not even going to bother putting it back in the bag. It doesn't seem like the type's going to break. I'm not going to keep any of these baggies in here at this point. Then we're going to get to some cards. Hobbit-sized cards, little tiny cards. Not a huge fan of little tiny cards, but all these small box games seem to have these small cards. I would have preferred larger. So we have rule summaries for all the players. Then we have whatever these blue things are. Oh, okay. I know what these are. These are events for when you play solo. If you roll doubles, you're going to draw an event. So this is an ambush, embezzlement, resurgence. You get a bunch of flavor text and then the actual effect of the card at the bottom. So that's this little set of cards, which this comes in a nice resealable pack. That I appreciate because that means my cards won't slide everywhere in the box. Okay, then what we have here are statues. These are end game scoring. You are going to put a number of statues out. Oh, yeah, uh, two different types of statues. So different statues. And they look like statues. And it's just like you're going to get victory points uh, instantly for every three circles you filled in. Get three victory points for every strength you filled in. I love the art on these statues. They actually look really cool. I am not certain what the purple or purple are other statues. Again, I haven't read the rules, so it might be like, you know, you get so many from one deck and so many from another. I'm not sure. So these are in-game scoring, which is going to differentiate what you want to fill in on your roll and write sheets while you're rolling and writing. So that's it. That's what you get in Thrones of Valeria. Two thick pads, dice, tokens, first player token. Nothing to write with. I do, I do know at least one of our fans will be frustrated. This did not come with pencils or anything to actually fill out the sheets with. Unfortunately, there's none of that in this box. All right, there you have what you get in the box for Dice Kingdoms of Valeria, a roll and write game for one to four players set in the universe of Valeria, which many other games from Daily Magic Games are set, featuring the awesome Miko's artwork and gameplay from Levi Moat. Really looking forward to checking this game out. Thank you for joining me for the unboxing. Now, when you want to know how the actual game plays, what I encourage you to do is follow me on social media where I can be found everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop on Work. Subscribe to our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we put out all of our content in three formats, written uh, written audio and video. So I will be talking about this game all three ways. And you can hear my thoughts once I actually get Dice Kingdoms of Valeria to the table a few times. I'm not going to just play it once and let you know. We, we try to play our games at least five times before giving our final thoughts. Sometimes more if we really like the games. Other than that, thank you for joining me. Have a good night and game on.